日本ニュースタイムへようこそ Hi guys, it's Victor with a kind of a gossipy type news thing that's kind of very much in the eye, in the public eye of Japanese. I want to say mediocre society because a lot of people don't care, just like you don't care that Justin Bieber broke up with Selena. Or if you do, you should be doing homework for junior high school, right? Right? Actually, some of my students do care about that. <laughs> I was surprised. Anyway, what I'm talking about here today, a little bit, a little bit of background information. A guy named Masanobu Takashima, very handsome fellow, fell in love with a half Korean, half Japanese girl named Mion, and she spells her name like this. With, I don't know if you know, if you recognize this, but the middle hiragana here is all like used for verbs, and it should be spelled this way, Mion. But it's spelled this way and pronounced me on. Same pronunciation, but kind of spelled kind of weird. And kind of, I don't know why, but it bugs the hell out of me. I just want to choke people who do things like that. They met on the set of some movie they were shooting or some TV show. And after six days, they got engaged and they were married. And oh, everything was great. And they, they declared their love publicly to one another as they do here in Japan. You know, we don't see this in, in the States, right? So that's very different about Japanese weddings. They don't, they don't interview like uh, Brad Pitt and, J and Angelina Jolie and ask them like, what, what made you, how did you propose? And, and, and uh, you know, uh, they don't ask Jan Angelina, do you think he's going to cheat? on you because that's what they do here they ask them they have like a big press conference and they're dressed up in their wedding stuff or it's like at the, at the wedding and they answer these questions ridiculous questions don't you think he's kind of too old for you it bugs the hell out of me long story short they decided they're going to get divorced like married oh, married 2008 separated 2010 one year and nine months trying to get divorced let me have let me have that let me have that let me have that thank you this is from you just give it to me who cares batman you a big batman fan okay <laughs> Anyway, one year and nine months trying to get divorced because he wants a divorce. He's like, I've had it. I, I want to get divorced. And she's like, no, I still love him. So they've been trying to do it. And here's some of the funny things that have been happening in the news regarding the story. One thing that pissed him off was she made a curry and presented it to their friends and stuff. And she said, this is our family curry, the Takashima curry. And he's like, that is not my curry. You don't ever say my family's anything again. Just keep my family's name out of your mouth. He was pissed off about her claiming that this was the family recipe, you know. Then one day he's like on a shoot somewhere and he has to go stay in a hotel and he wakes up in the hotel and she's holding his hand and he's like freaked out. Like, what are you doing here? And she's like, oh, I guess she just, I love you so much, honey. I don't know what, you know, she was doing, but anyway, um, she's gotten a lot of plastic surgery, which is neither here nor there. But uh, he is so intent on getting a divorce that he wants, and his father's a, his father is a big uh, actor as well. So it's all in the family. So for him, you know, acting is a big deal. He is so intent on getting a divorce that he's willing to give up all of his career. He's like, I'm willing to just give up my career. Which, you might think you don't have to make that choice, but in Japan, when you're in the public eye like this, for some reason they kind of judge you harshly. And since this, uh, this, um, these marital problems have arisen, he's gained like 10 kilograms, and he looks like nothing like the original guy. But he looks terrible. Anyway, long story short. Women will kill you, man. Women will kill you. Hey, do you know why um, men usually, married men usually die before married women? Because they want to. That's right. My father told me that one. Be still alive. Just to give you an idea, they're interviewing him on the street. Like he's walking out of the building where he works or whatever. I guess he's, they work at the, you know, these, I guess, you know, talent. These, you know, he's got to go into the office and work on some creativity. I don't know what, why he's in the office, but he comes out. He's gained 10 kilograms. He's, he's grown facial hair. He's wearing a, you know, warm wool cap. And um, they're interviewing him. I'm like, well, so... You know, how do you feel? And and he's and what what gets me is like he puts up with it. He's standing there, putting putting up with all this. You know, mic in your face. Like you should just say in the states, you're like punch in the face or none of your fucking business, right? But in Japan, they like put up with it. Like they feel like they have this responsibility to the public to answer the stupid questions. Like I'm sorry, but you don't. You know, you're a star. You can just tell everyone to screw off, right? The middle finger is in the air, which you can't see in the camera. But you know, but for some reason in Japan, at the weddings they interview them and. When they're getting divorced, they interview him and they put up with all the questions, right? So the woman's kind of a psycho. And even though he wants to get a divorce, she's like, she doesn't want to get divorced, which to me seems crazy. Like, would you want a divorce if your if your husband said I want a divorce? Wouldn't you say, okay, fine, you don't love me, okay, I get it, you know? You'd be heartbroken, but you, you give it to him, right? So at the trial, he refers to her as Hikoku. Hikoku means the defendant. The defendant this and defendant that. And she refers to him as my husband, <laughs> Shujin. And, uh, and uh, interestingly enough, the word Shujin is husband, but the word Shujin is inmate or prisoner. So they're very similar, actually, in real life. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is because there's a lot of stuff on the internet about this. Oh yeah, this is the, this is the weird thing. And she recorded 
a fight that they had together and then she like gave it to the court nobody knows why though because if she wants to get a divorce she shouldn't show them fighting right so she gave the recording to the court and then someone uploaded it to the internet and i'll give you links to that oh yeah and regarding that recording a lot of people think that she faked it so and he's trashed he's like really drunk on it and he's like telling her to go die and everything and what i did for uh for a great japanese practice listening and speaking is i recorded it uh, using my own voice and I listened to it and recorded it so I've made a listening uh, lesson it's gonna be cut up into two maybe three parts and the first one will come will be uploaded after this so if you want to watch that go check that out it's a great it's great listening practice and it'll teach you how to um, insult your wife or how to fight with your wife or husband so I've done it in my voice and at the end I've added a little clip of the original so you can compare but you should probably go to the original and listen to it. It'll be very hard for you to understand, but if you read my script, which I will provide on the screen, it was a pain in the ass to, to edit, then you should get something out of it. Pretty interesting story. Well, no, it's not. It's stupid. It's retarded. But, um, but you know, that's what life is about. Uh, you know, we all get caught up in these, in these ridiculous, none of your business stories. I've taken advantage of it to make a listening lesson and a language lesson, which I think you'll get a lot out of, and you'll probably never have to study anything like this again, but it'll probably help you next time you watch some TV show or fight when there's Japanese couples arguing. <laughs> anyway, my name is Victor. Uh, give me a flick, man. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, be sure to, you know, rate, subscribe, comment, all that crap if you got something out of the video, especially the next two or three videos which will be covering this, um, this event. Thanks a lot. Uh, talk to you soon. Rate, comment, and subscribe! Ah!